Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we will learn that how to find the tensile strength of a double channel section considering all the limit states that is the limit state of yielding, limit state of rupture and as well as the block shear strength. I have been given a question which states that a double channel shape 2C10 into 30, this is used as a tension member. The channels are bolted to a 5 by 8 inch gusset plate with 1 inch diameter bolts. The tension member is A572 grade 50 steel and the gusset plate is A36 steel. If the LRFD is used, we have to find how much factor tensile load can be applied considering all the limit state. This problem will be solved using the AISC 360 okay so we will be checking all the limit states of the AIC 360 first let us see what we have been given in the question so from AIC steel construction manual properties of this C10 into 30 are gross area of this one channel section this is 8.81 inch square thickness of the web this is 0 0.673 inch Thickness of the gusset plate is given in the question as 5 by 8 inch. Distance from the centroid of the connected area to the plane of the connection. This is given in the construction manual as 0 0.649 inch. Diameter of the bolt. This is equal to 1 inch. It means that the diameter of the bolt hole. This will be the diameter of bolt plus 1 by 8 which is equal to 1.125 inch. First, uh, we will calculate the strength for the one section and then we will multiply it with the two to get the strength for the double channel section. We can see for this uh, channel section, there are two bolt holes along the critical section. Okay, if you draw a perpendicular line, you can see it will cut the two bolt holes. So it means n is equal to two. Net area of this one channel section, this will be gross area multiply, sorry, sub minus n times thickness of the web multiplied by the diameter of the hole. So it will be 8.81 minus 2 into 0 0.673 into 1.125, which is equal to 7.3 inch square. This is the net area of one channel section. Length of the connection, this is uh, measured from the center to center of the bolt hole so it will be 3 inch plus 3 inch which is 6 inch okay so length of connection is equal to 6 inch shear lag factor this is given as 1 minus x bar divided by l so it will be 1 minus 0 0.649 divided by 6 which is 0 0.892 effective area this is shear lag factor multiplied by the net area so it will be 0 0.892 multiplied by 7.3 which is equal to 6.51 inch square will be the effective area of one channel section. After that for A572 grade 50 steel yield strength this is 50 ksi and ultimate strength this is 65 ksi. Nominal strength in yielding for one channel section, this will be the yield strength multiplied by the gross area. So it will be 50 multiplied by 8.81, which is equal to 440.5 kips. Nominal strength in rupture for one channel section, this will be ultimate strength multiplied by the effective area. So it will be 65 multiplied by 6.51, which is equal to 423.15 kips. For LRFD design strength based on the yielding, this is nominal strength in yielding multiplied by the resistance factor which in yielding is 0 0.9. So it will be 0 0.9 multiplied by 440.5 which is equal to 396.5 kips. Strength of double channel based on the yielding, this will be 2 times 396.5 which is 793 kips. Design strength based on the rupture uh, for one channel section this will be resistance factor multiplied by the nominal strength in rupture resistance factor in rupture this is 0 
and nominal strength in rupture uh, which we calculated uh, was 423.15 kips so design strength based on the rupture this will be 317.4 kips strength of double channel based on rupture this will be 2 into 314.4 which is equal to 634.8 kips okay so this these are the design strength for yielding and rupture for the channel section according to the lrft now we will calculate the block shear strength for these uh, section since the thickness of the gusset plate in question is given as 5 by 8 inch this is smaller than the total thickness of the channel which is 2 multiplied by 0 0.673 which is 1.346 inch it means the gusset plate this will control the block shear also the gusset plate this is made of lower strength steel that is a36 whereas the steel for the channel section is a572 grade steel and the shear length of the gusset plate is larger so the gusset plate will control the block shear so we will calculate the block shear strength of the gusset plate and we will not calculate the block shear strength of the channel section because it will be larger than the block shear strength of the gusset plate okay so for a36 steel yield strength this is 36 ksi and ultimate strength this is 58 ksi after that uh, since first you will calculate shear area along the shear surface there are two shear surfaces in block shear okay so gross shear area this will be the thickness of the gusset plate multiplied by the length uh, of this uh, shear surface multiplied by two because there are two shear surface length of this uh, shear surface this will be three inch plus three inch plus three inch this is equal to nine inch if we have to calculate the uh, shear length of the channel it will be 2 plus 3 plus 3 which is only equal to 8 inch as i told you earlier that the length of the shear surface for the gusset plate is larger than the length of the shear surface for the uh, for the ch channel section okay so gross shear area this will be 5 by 8 which is the thickness of the gusset plate multiplied by 9 multiplied by 2 which is 11.25 inch square there are 2.5 bolt holes along the shear surface so net shear area this will be 5 by 8 multiplied by 9 minus 2.5 multiplied by the diameter of hole which is 1.125 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 7.73 inch square will be the net shear area for this block shear okay after that tension area along the tension surface so tension uh, surface this is perpendicular to the load and shear surface this is parallel to the load so this is our tension surface okay depth between the holes depth between the holes this is equal to the total depth of the channel section multiplied by these two uh, edge distances total depth of this channel section that is c10 into 30 this is 10 inch and two edge distances are 2 inch and 2 inch so depth between bolt holes this is equal to 6 inch which is this one tension area this is consider, uh, considered using one bolt hole because only one bolt hole is crossing our tension area so uh, net tension area this will be thickness of the gusset plate multiplied by this um, distance uh, between holes minus and times diameter of this hole so it will be 5 by 8 multiplied by 6 minus 1.125 which is 3.05 inch square after that nominal block shear strengths will be calculated from the AIC equation which is given as 0 0.6 FU multiplied by ANV plus UBS multiplied by FU multiplied by ANT putting values okay FU for this gusset plate since this is A36 steel this is 58 net shear area this is 7.73 
share like factor for this channel section in case of this um, block share this is one fu this is again 58 and net tension area this is 3.05 which gives me the nominal block share strength at 440 uh, 445.9 kips you have to check the upper limit for the block share strength which is given as 0 0.6 multiplied by the yield strength multiplied by the gross share area plus u multiplied by the ultimate strength multiplied by the net tension area which is equal to 0 0.6 into 36 into 11.25 plus 1 into 58 multiplied by 3.05 which is equal to 419.9 kips we can see this uh, one is smaller so it will control the block share you can say that the nominal uh, block share strength of the gusset plate this is equal to 419.9 kips design strength is a resistance factor multiplied by the nominal shear strength sorry nominal block shear strength and uh, resistance factor in case of block shear is 0 0.75 so it will be 0 0.75 multiplied by 419.9 which is 314.93 kips okay so this is the design block shear strength for this uh, uh, for this uh, gusset plate okay we can see that the a design strength based on the yielding this was 793 kips design strength based on the rupture this was 634.8 kips and design strength based on the block share this came out to be 314.93 clearly the lower value controls the design so you can say that the block share controls the design of this connection it means the factor tensile load that we can apply to this double channel section this is equal 314.93 kips okay so this is how you can calculate the tensile strength of a double channel section considering all the limit states i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new from this video if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel share this video and also you can watch my other uh, practical civil engineering videos okay which are really helpful and you can also share my video with your friends to help the channel thanks for watching and stay tuned